Steve and I hit Sue on Golf Course because we'd heard good things about it. There was also a promo running, so we paid for about $50 all in. What a bar game! From the tips, this one is 7,100 yards, but it's too long for Steve, so we settled on the blue tees at 6,800 yards. I'd been to the range once before this round, and I worked on three things. Number one is my main problem. The ball creeps backward in my stance on every club, including the driver. This promotes a downward hit onto the ball, and that translates into a reverse C position in the follow through, and back pain where I can't get out of bed the next morning. To work on this, I put tape on the mat and check my ball position relative to my left heel. By doing this only once a week, it will be like taking a medicine that keeps the creep back disease in check. Number two is the David Duval head move, where I release my upper body instead of dipping my right shoulder. I couple this with the Robin Matthew Williams left foot right foot drill. I stand there for a good five minutes before even hitting a ball moving right to left, focusing on the feeling of facing my target at the end of the swing, shoulders level to the ground. This will stop me dropping my right shoulder and getting my back muscles all scrunched up. This allows a full release of the upper body. I must give credit to a great pro in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. His name is Graham Whale and works out of the Port Elizabeth Golf Club driving range. If you're in the Eastern Cape, go see him. True passion for the swing without an overhaul. Number three is working on having low hands. This is a concept I got from my main man, Hogan's Book Lied, on Instagram. I love his philosophy about the swing and will be buying his ebook when he eventually releases it. My main focus is that I want to feel like my hands are low and I'm applying the club face to the ball with the feeling of hammering a nail into the back of the ball. Bam! You'll see a drive on hole 11 where I get it right and the ball turns into a bullet even Bruce Lee couldn't catch with his teeth. I never complain about a par on the first hole. I used to get worked up about bogeys back in the day, but since realizing the way of the player, a bogey is just a number now, and there are 17 more holes for me to spank like a bouse. With a long way to go to the hole, I want to leave myself a 50 degree wedge into the green. This is currently my most potent club and I can control it easily between 100 and 130 yards. The effects of leaving your favorite club into the green is remarkable. With an approach over water, I measure how much it is to carry that water so that I hit a club I know will carry it with even a mediocre strike. 140 yards to carry the water, the 8 iron is perfect here. Only one practice session since the last round, coupled with a new course, and the demons flow in.
I was going to punch it out over here, but that's too risky. I'm heading straight toward the water. I saw above this tree here on the left, I can probably clear that with a wedge. And there's a lot of space behind that tree. So I'm gonna try hit a 50 degree right over there. I'm 200 yards out. Another big bunker tip I can give you originated directly from this shot. I suddenly noticed I dig only my heels into the bunkers before the shot. Notice how I also dug in my toes this time. I've become conscious of this on all bunker shots, so I dig in with a flatter stance instead of only having my heels dug in. Without a doubt, this has improved bunker strikes since I'm standing in a comfortable position now. Players, have I ever mentioned commitment in my videos before? Here I was between 5 iron and 6 iron from 180 yards. Nope, actually, I just imagined I was. This was a clear 6 iron and I knew it, but went for the softer 5 iron into a small breeze. I cannot hit these softer shots with any commitment and I need to avoid them. Know yourself, players, and if you like the harder shot with more loft, do it. Don't be like me. Don't be a doers. Don't be a doers. Super!
Now, here's the shot we've been waiting for. This is how I want my swing to look. All I thought on this shot was low hands. This is what I need to ingrain into my body at the range. The feeling of hammering that nail into the ball. Oh boy. That's the one! <laughs> Look at the club face at impact. Watch where my hands finish. This looks like the ideal swing for me. And if I can do it once, I can do it every time. I just need to get it done. Here's a tricky situation. This was way downhill and down grain. I used a lob wedge and my reason was I wanted to use the backspin to get it to die and then begin rolling after the backspin wore off. Of course, I chunked it because it was so delicate. If I used a putter, I would have been 10 feet past the hole, just like Steve. Hmm. Is a 10 footer back up the hill better or worse than a 10 footer down the steepest part of the hill? Hmm. Well, let's watch Steve. I learned my lesson from the ninth hole and I hit a six iron from the 180 yard distance. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, Got a 90 degree left turn toward the hole over there. But the fairway is dead straight and behind me it still goes another probably about 30, 30 yards. The interesting thing about this is you can hit a driver to where I am, you can hit to where Steve is, or you can even hit three iron, a four iron or a four wood and actually not have that much more into the green because they measure the hole from where I'm standing here. But if you go straight back along this line you're only going to add maybe 10 more yards to where Steve is compared to where I am over here even though I've hit it probably about 50 yards longer. I'm the same. Right Keddy, Keddy good. Me no good. Mate, I'm the same. I, what they tell me, I, I read another two inches into there. Yeah, I'm yeah, doing right. that, but my Keddy's perfect.
You'll often see I take my penalty from the tee box and re-tee it in my videos. That's usually how I play so I can get the shot right, kind of like tin cup. In competition or when score counts, always drop at the hazard players. You may have noticed in my videos, there are certain things I need to work on to improve quickly. I show you this video game golf assessment technique in a video with JMac. 